Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Web Predications Daily Tech Tips. And in today's video, we're learning how to make your own Windows 10 theme or how to create your own Windows 10 theme. Now, Windows operating systems and more specifically Windows 10 comes with a default theme. That's your default background, default sounds, default colors and all that. And in case you don't like the default theme that comes with your computer, there are a couple of other themes you can choose from to change. And to access those, you need to go to settings. So go to the start menu and scroll down until you find settings or better still just type settings here. Then click on settings to open the settings window. And then on the settings window, click on personalization and then click on themes and you should see your default theme there and you should see the active theme there selected. Now, if you don't like this one, you can change to this or this. And if this still isn't enough for you, you can click on get more themes in the store and you'll find a wide variety of themes that you can choose from. Some are free and some are paid, but this still doesn't match the satisfaction of building your own theme, just making everything custom made. And today I'll be showing you how to do just that. So make sure you're on themes and then pick a theme that you'd like to edit. Maybe the default theme that comes with your copy of windows. And then you want to edit the background, the color, the mouse cursor, and sounds. And that's a complete edit of a theme. Those are the things that actually make up a theme. So first off, background. So click on background. And then you want to choose what type of background you want. You can choose to have a picture or just a solid color or a slideshow. Now, the first option is picture. And that allows you to customize your own picture. You can add your own picture from your gallery or your collection or wherever you want to pick a picture from. Just select it and then click on choose picture. And that picture is going to be your default background every time you start up your computer, just like that. Now you can choose a solid color. If you don't want any picture, just choose uh, a solid color. And then you can choose between red and purple or black or gray or even green, whatever you want. And then the third option under picture is slideshow. So this allows you to select a bunch of photos that will run through some kind of a slideshow on your desktop as you're using a computer. So to add this, make sure you have those photos that you want in that slideshow in one folder already, and then click on browse and then select where that folder is and select that folder and choose this folder by clicking that. And then you can choose the interval for your slides, maybe one minute interval or 10 minute intervals, whatever you want. And then this option allows you to choose whether you want them to you know, slide in a particular order or just in a random order. So if you turn on shuffle, they're going to slide in a random order. And then you can choose how you want the images on your screen to look, either they fit to the screen or they look stretched or tiles or at the center or span, whatever you want, just choose. And that's background for you. Then you wanna go back to themes and then click on color. So this allows you to choose the color scheme of your theme. Now you can choose uh blue you can choose purple you can choose light purple you can choose green and you might notice every time i choose something it changes the accent color of this window and that should also change the you know the background of the start menu just like that so that's what the color of the theme does for your you know your theme uh, this is a very interesting option here automatically pick an accent color from my background so if you select this it's gonna pick a color from your background uh, for example it's picked red because i have a lot of red in my background and every time that slide changes or i use a different background it's going to automatically pick a color from that background and use it as my accent or as my theme color so that's color for you then go back to themes and then choose mouse cursor so this option allows you to change your mouse cursor the appearance of how your your mouse cursor appears you can see mine is just an arrow right now you can you know choose how your mouse cursor appears under different circumstances whether when you're writing when you're selecting text when you're doing a diagonal resize all those things you can just select and then use a different cursor from all this collection of cursors in your windows operating system so that's how to customize the mouse cursor then go to sounds and this is a bunch of system sounds on your computer these are the sounds that your computer makes when different things happen for instance, when this critical battery alarm, critical stop, default beep, all these events sound a different kind of tone or sound. 
So to change any of the sound that you want, for example, if you want to change how your computer sounds when you disconnect a device, simply click on device disconnect, and then you can test the current sound by clicking test. And then if you don't like that sound, you can change it to whichever other sound you want from this collection of very, very many sounds. And if you like as well, you can browse and select your own sound from wherever you saved it on your computer. And that's basically how to customize sounds in your Windows 10 theme. And that's it. So background, color, mouse, and sounds. Now, after you've customized all those things, click on save theme to save that theme. So I'll call mine, uh, for instance, uh, family. Then I'll click on save. And that theme will be saved along my other default themes in my Windows 10 operating system. So anytime I want to choose my previous theme, I can choose it. And then when I want to go back to my theme, the one I created, I just click on that theme called family and it's going to be activated. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to create your own theme in Windows 10. Thank you for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.